Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to tie a tie, whether you need it for work or for school. I'm going to be showing it to you in two ways, unbuttoned or bunned. I'm also going to be showing it to you left handed and right handed. So let's get started. So here's your tie. I'm going to start off with right handed and unbuttoned. So, go around your neck. It doesn't have to be totally equal because you're going to be pulling it up. I'm going to use my measurement of my third bun here as just a guide. Uh, you will have to find out your own guide of how long and how short it will be. But the third button usually is the best guide. So right hand holds the small piece. Left hand bring the large piece over. And it will have a cross over it like that. Then you bring the large part back around. And then you go over again. So then you have two. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get the big piece, you're going to tuck it through here, see the back part is going to go down like that, so then the front part's there. Then you get the big piece and you pull it through the second fold over, like so. So it's going to look something like that. So with your left hand, you're going to hold it here, your right hand is going to pull the small part, you're just going to pull it up like so. Now it does take a little trial and error, this is just the tip of it, the length I mean, and it needs a bit more adjusting. So if it is longer, like it is there, you're going to have to redo it, but not to worry, it does take time, trial and error. So, using my third button as a guide, hold that and go over once, over, go over again, tug it through, and through this part, and make sure that it's facing the front, like so. And it gets pulled, and there you have it. So you tuck it into the back, and there's usually a tag at the back, like so, and that's what the tag usually looks like. And there uh, you have it, your tie. So this is a less neat look, which I don't see any problem with, but if you don't like how it is, then that's fine. To remove it, right hand just pull, left hand holds a big piece. And you're back to this. So now we do the left hand way. So left hand way is the same method, just using on the left side. So you're holding it with your left hand, put that back piece over, not round, make sure it's straight, do it again. Bring a big piece in up here, and just out, like so. And just it slightly. And then just pull, like so. And that's how you do it the left hand way. This is a bundled up look, it is more professional, more neater. If you prefer it that way then that's fine. So we're going to start with the left handed way. So you just put in your tie as you do. Obviously you have your collars up. And then you just put it around like that. Using the guide, I would say you could use your hand as like a sizing. Maybe like a hand or half. Using your third button you pull it over once and then you do it again. Then you get your big part and you just tuck it through here, like so. Then you push it into that second part, like so. And just pull. Now, sometimes it does come out like it's really, this big part's really long, so obviously you would need to readjust it. Remember to use your guide, so third button, it is trial and error, go over once, go over again, and just tuck it through, like so. Then you just pull 
and should have like that. So this is a neater look for the left handed way to tie it. And that's how it looks. Now you pull it out with the left and now you pull the right hand way. So we pull up, right handed, pull through, do that investment, go over once, go over again, pull through, and into down. Just pull. So it'll look like this. Obviously a little bit too long, but it doesn't matter. And there you go. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you liked it, if it helped at all. Comment below if you would like more tutorials and I will try my best to do them. Thank you for watching. Bye.